Welcome back to JNS Daily Drives, everyone. My name is Jacob, and today we're going to be taking a look at this 2012 Volkswagen Golf R. In today's video, we're going to go over the exterior as well as the interior, talk a little bit about what's powering this Golf R, and see what it's like to drive. Let's get started. So I want to start this video with the front end of the car. The front end of the Golf R is a little bit more aggressive, but it's still subtle in a way that you can't really tell that it's any different than a regular Golf. We have nice painted all the way down to the front splitter down there. We also have the R badge located right there. Other than that, the front end remains kind of the same throughout the Golf range in this year. Beautiful headlights, they light up very well. So this Golf R's generation isn't the best looking Golf in my opinion. I think the newer Mark 7 Golf is a little bit better than this, the Mark 6. But I think it looks pretty good nonetheless. The wheels are beautiful, they're 18 inch wheels. I think they fit very well with the car. Seeing that it is a smaller car, 18s are pretty big on it. It sits a little bit lower than the regular Golf, even the Golf GTI to give it that more aggressive handling and look. Now moving to the side, we have a more aggressive side skirt down here. Makes it look, again, a little bit more aggressive. We have tint, which makes it look awesome as well. This car is very short. Golfs have always been tiny cars, and they are. Now that we've moved to the rear of the Golf R, we can begin to look at some of the styling cues back here. Now the biggest giveaway that this is a Golf R is the two center exhaust down below. Let's go ahead and take a look at the trunk space and see what it's like back there. To open the trunk, it's pretty cool. You actually push the Volkswagen badge in at the top, now pull up just like that the storage space is pretty good back here it's not going to be absolutely massive like a lot of other cars but that's not what this car is designed for this car is designed to be small and practical at the same time i'm able to fit my drone case i could probably fit two and then if i took this little cargo cover out i could probably fit three the rear seats do fold down so located right here is the cargo space with the seats folded for five passengers and right here is with the seats folded down for maximum cargo space. So now that we've done a full 360 walk around of the Golf R, now I want to begin to talk a little bit about what's powering this car. Now that's a two liter four cylinder turbocharged engine producing 256 horsepower and 243 pound feet of torque. Let's go ahead and take a look at that engine. Now here it is, the two liter turbocharged four cylinder engine. I like the clean layout. The engine cover could be nicer looking, but that's just little things. This engine produces a lot of power, ample power, for this car because it's so small it's so light it moves really quickly there's a turbocharger in there which the spool sounds absolutely awesome i think we should hear how it sounds Now that we've heard how the engine sounds, gotten that exhaust clip, and overall gone around the exterior of the car, there's nothing left to do but go for a drive. Before we go on with the rest of this review, I have to say again a massive thank you to Norm and the rest of the guys over at International Motor Cars. They're the ones who provided me with this Golf R for the day, so special shout out to them. They have one of the best selection of used cars in Calgary, ranging from Honda Civics all the way up to a few Audi R8s, a bunch of Nissan GTRs, and a Lamborghini Gallardo. They're also, I'm talking about GTRs, they're the number one GTR and Mitsubishi Evo dealership in all of Alberta. So make sure to go check them out. Linked in the description below is their website, as well as the link to this exact car, which is for sale right now. And you should go buy it. Buy this exact car from them when this video goes out. Do it. Now that we're inside and we're driving the Volkswagen Golf R, the model year of 2012, we can begin to talk a little bit about that engine and the transmission that it's made it to. So it's, like I said, a 2.0-liter 4-cylinder turbo producing 256 horsepower and 243 pound-feet of torque. And it's all made it to this 6-speed manual. And 
this six-speed manual is the best manual transmission I have ever driven in my entire life. It feels so tight, it feels so good to shift, I mean, it just feels like you're connected to it, it feels mechanical, it doesn't feel like there's any gaps, any give at all in the shift itself, it feels perfect when you're shifting this car. And couple that together with this engine and you can do pretty good this engine is perfect it has just the right amount of power for this size of car without being scary it's fast but it's not freaky fast which makes this car incredibly fun almost as much fun and I haven't driven it quite as much yet as the Fiat 500 that I just reviewed keep in mind this car has a hundred more horsepower than that car but it weighs significantly more but this car I mean I don't know what it is about that engine sound, but it sounds really, when you're inside the cabin, it almost sounds V10-ish, which sounds really bizarre, but it has that sound to it. It has that high-pitched squeal, and I absolutely love that about this car. It feels amazing. The transmission is perfect, and it's so much fun to drive. And you can hear the turbo sounds, which is also pretty cool. I want to talk a little bit about the interior quality, the interior design and how it's laid out. Because this is the Mark VI version of the Volkswagen Golf, it is a little bit older, 2012. It has a few interior pieces that I think could be updated and obviously they were updated in the Mark VII. The steering wheel feels absolutely amazing. This is one of my favorite, most favorite steering wheels I've ever had in a car. 9 and 3 feels awesome, 10 and 2 has a nice support there, flat bottom, it's perfect. It makes it feel that much faster, that much more fun, giving you the confidence you need to take corners and have fun with this car. Everything else in here, the seats are wonderful. These are some of the best seats ever. The bolstering is perfect on the sides and on the legs. They have uh, automatic adjustability for the forward and back but everything else is manual which isn't really a big deal I don't really care some people might but in a car like this it doesn't really matter it saves weight anyway we have some nice aluminum trim around the rest of the car with all the materials inside feeling you know okay but they're all built really well everything feels like it was put together incredibly well now we're on a few corners we can begin to talk a little bit about how this car handles through the corners because it's so low it's lower than the GTI it has a lower center of gravity which means that you can take corners at a higher speed and you have more grip this car feels fantastic going around corners the steering is a little bit loose but it's nice and tight when you're up at higher speeds throttle response is great when you're coming around a corner as well and shifting like I said is as easy as can be now in terms of space inside the cabin of this Golf I have at least three inches of headroom, which is really good, and I can lower my seat even more to give me a ridiculous amount of headroom. Legroom is perfect, I can move my seat back even more. And because this is the four-door Golf, we have room in the back for three more passengers. The middle seat is a little bit tight, but the two rears on the left and right are perfect size. You can fit pretty much anybody back there, including headroom. Hip room and shoulder room, I'm perfect. I have plenty of room inside this cabin. As I said before, it's a perfect place to sit. The driving position is just right. You can see directly in front of you and see over the hood. Anybody can fit in here, unless you're seven foot 11. Because this car has a single turbo four cylinder, you would expect a little bit of turbo leg, and there is just a tiny bit. Say I'm in third gear at around 3,800 RPM. I floor it. There's the turbo. I would like to talk a little bit about the comfort inside the cabin of the Volkswagen Golf R. Like I said, the seats feel fantastic. Very well supported. You feel really good going around corners. But as an everyday car, what can I say? It does that well too. The suspension is firm, but it's not too firm where you can't daily drive this car. I'm on 
they're not the smoothest roads in the world and I'm not really feeling the bumps. The seats are very cushiony and the suspension helps mitigate those bumps as well. Just the overall feeling in here, it's very tight, very well insulated, we have a nice sunroof above us. It's just, it's a wonderful place to sit in a car that is meant to be fun. It's so easy to drive. It's very small, so it's easy to fit into little places and you'll be comfortable while you're doing it. This is one of the more well-rounded cars that I've reviewed because it kind of takes all the boxes. It's fun, it's reliable, it does really good on fuel economy and I'll get to that in a moment. You know, this car is almost perfect. So in terms of fuel economy, based on how we've been driving, we're averaging around 11.2 liters per hundred kilometer, which is, you know, it's pretty good considering that we've been driving pretty aggressively. That's not a terrible number to get. Now, in terms of safety features on this car, it is lacking a little bit. It does have cruise control, which a lot of cars have as standard, but in terms of, you know, blind spot monitoring and a few other safety features like uh, front collision warning and stuff like that, it doesn't have it. So if you're looking for a car that has all of these safety technologies built in, this might not be the car for you. But this car, it just feels so good. It feels so right. It feels perfect when you're driving it. But this car has really good visibility. You don't really need the blind spot and stuff like that in this car because of the visibility. You can see pretty much 360 degrees around it. As long as you know how to drive a manual, this car is the easiest car to drive in the world. And then when you want it to be, it's super fast and super fun. Doesn't get any better than that. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video on this 2012 Volkswagen Golf R. If you did, make sure to smash that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. I look forward to seeing you next video.